I would have filmed this earlier, but I had to hit the road. It was so cold. Of course, regen's disabled, but it was so cold that it was limited for power outage in between 40 and 80 exactly. It was that cold. And it's been sitting for ever since. It's 1 o'clock on the dot now. Started driving at 12.49, as it says. And I got out of the car at 4.25-ish in the, in the morning. So it sat there. It was negative 10 this morning. And it sat there. And it lost about a mile an hour of range sitting there that cold. And that is a little typical. I do not have range or energy saving. Uh, and they're both off. But this will be interesting to see a supercharge because I am, I believe, three miles, two and a half miles away from a supercharger. Well, it's time. I got 8.6 miles now. And uh, we were going to try and charge and see what it's going to be like. So the reason I'm doing this is a lot of people don't know and they freak out and they, you know, it needs to warm up the pack. It's going to be too cold to supercharge. So it's going to warm up that pack real nice for us. And then it'll boost out the maximum kilowatt rate like you saw before. So while I was on the highway, I got on it a little bit to try and boost up that power outage and get rid of the limitations. And uh, I do have my heater on, it's facing towards me, AC off, no recirculation, heat seat on at level six. Just carefully get out of my vehicle here. Let's hope for the best here. Plugged in at 108, I heard all the contactors, or the, the click clicks, you know. 108. <laughs> we will be sitting here for a while. We plugged in with 141 miles. Okay, so this is typical when your pack is cold um, you're gonna of course you're gonna probably have the heat on because it'll be freezing freaking cold and um, it's heating up the pack yep it's teetering one kilowatt it's it's trying to boost it up what it's doing is it's warming up the pack because it's too cold to charge as I've mentioned before So over a course of time, it was 108 when I plugged in, as you will see there. It will teeter-totter around there, and then it'll build up, build up, build up, build up. Kilowatt rate, so it can... It'll charge, and it's heating up the pack, and then it'll build up the kilowatts, so it'll charge. Uh, that's how we do that. There we go, see how it's teetering a little bit? I'm gonna again chime back in every 10, 15 minutes or so. 121 went down a degree, but sun's baking right on me. And it's teetering between 14 and 15, and sometimes it dips and goes back up. But overall, there's the, what happens, it, it will start slow and you won't see anything, and then it'll tinker up all the way, or it'll It'll slowly bump up and slowly bump up. Didn't have a cold pack, and the car was completely warmed up. The kilowatt rate would be higher, but not like a hundred something. It would be maybe like, I don't know, what do I get, like 60 something? I, I always forget. I gotta look back at the data that I see. Supercharging, I like to pay attention to where the kilowatt rate is at different times and how the superchargers are behaving and performing. If there's anybody next to me on my circuit, or not circuit, the other, because A and B share a current. Uh, the urban style superchargers, they will hold a rapid 72 kilowatts no matter what. Even if all 10 or however many superchargers are there, 8, 10, they will all hold the same kilowatts. But here we are getting 15, 16. And it goes up a little bit there. And yay, a whole 7 miles in what was that? 108, 18, almost 20 minutes. That, you know, by 20 minute point, I should have 10 miles back. Yay. There you have it. 
140 p.m. and the kilowatt rate has bumped. We got 35 miles back, so that's 08, 18, 28, 38, 48. Hopefully, we'll see 40 or 45 miles by 148, but who knows? It's 140 now, so in 18, 28, 38, 30 minutes, we got that back, and that's what it takes to warm it up. Sorry, it's unfortunate, but you know, the car would rather do what it needs to do so you don't destroy your very expensive Tesla and then have to replace a battery pack out of warranty. And there's some numbers floating around at what that costs, which is actually less than a newer engine in a lot of these cars. A lot of my truck that I had before this, the engine was like 12 grand to replace out of warranty with the turbos, and I was like, holy moly. So, you know, of all these high-end luxury cars that have similar performance to even this P85, engines are 15, 20 grand. Mercedes, Audi, BMW, Lexus, these engines are 25 grand. AMG ones are even more. But um, the pack is less, and that's always good. But still, it's several thousand dollars, and nobody wants to pay that if they don't have to. So Tesla has idiot-proofed it to do this. So it'll make sure that it does what it needs to do before it can give you a safer level of charge. Uh, it is 1.58 in a couple of seconds here, and here's where we are at, and self-explanatory. Let's try back at the hour mark. And the reason why the kilowatt rate hasn't really fluctuated much is because, when, again, when you get that higher state of charge, the kilowatt rate will drop. So it hovered like 36 for a while, and then 35, 34 for a very long time. And it's kind of starting to do that. It's warmed up, but it's starting to do the thing where it tapers off because of its almost a near completion charge. So it, it could be a hot day. It could be the only one on the supercharger. Whatever the case may be, best case scenario, it would just be at a lower kilowatt rate. Uh, no matter what you're doing, just it, ta it goes lower when you get more range, the higher amount you have. That's expected. That is normal. It is 2.29 p.m. and I'm going to get out of here probably around 255 miles. I'm just topping off. I don't think I'm going to do a full 100% battery balance max charge. I think I'm going to probably hit 255-ish or so, whatever I can get to. And I'm probably going to get out of here. I'm, it's, it's, I'm waiting too long and it's just tiring. Um, even though I've only been here for a little over an hour with the pack severely cold, I did get 106 miles back which is fine um, had the vehicle been all warmed up and super warm and ready to charge at its full capacity from 0 to 85 90% you know you got a good 40 40 40 something minutes or so it depends on the car depends on which Model S and variant you have um, I hear 30 minutes or so 25 to 30 minutes for that 80% uh, and then the rest of another 20 to 30 minutes for the next 20% to battery balance it, you'll be sitting there for a while, but that's, you know, you don't have to do that. You know, you're only scraping up a couple miles and balancing the pack uh, versus, you know, 90%. I see 35 to 45 minutes depending on the car. So that's good. So 35 minutes, 30, 35 minutes to get your big amount of range right off the bat is a good thing. But here, here it is. That, that again, that ta tapering off the kilowatts is because it's higher. I'm glad I supercharged today when I had the time. It's going to be a busy freaking week, and I still have a 110 at home, and it's slow uh, because it was so cold. It was getting a little less than a mile an hour. Okay, it is 2:42. And I'll be getting out of here in just a minute here. This is where I'm at. It'll probably hit 253 when I unplug and get out of here. I uh, just, I'm tired of waiting. I'm uh, getting a little antsy. And I'm hungry. We hungry. All right, everybody. <laughs> Have a good one.